and welcome to my channel. What you have before you is a package sent to me by Robbie. So thank you, Robbie. Uh, I haven't even finished uh, doing the last two that were sent by John, but he he sent me, as you can see, some knives and some little uh, novelty things here and a and a scale, but. What I want to share with you is this thing. I got so much laughs out of this, man. <laughs> it's a stretchable balloon ball, right? And it inflates up to this. And this one, they got an example of a piggy. And this one's a tiger. But, <clears throat> look at the instructions. The balloon ball works just like a balloon, but better. To start, insert the supplied nozzle, white plastics piece, in the valve of the ball, the darkest potter part of the ball. Uh, you shove it up his butt, man. You, you take this, you take this pin and you shove it up the tiger's butt, and, and he gets inflated. See, it's got an example over here. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, you don't want to overinflate it. Put your mouth over the nozzle and blow. When the balloon ball gets as big as you want it to be, stop blowing and remove the nozzle. The valve will seal all by itself. To deflate your balloon ball, just shove that tube up its butt again. <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. That, that's funny. So, all right, that's that's one thing. But I had, I had a good laugh. I mean, they they says you you can squeeze it, you can bounce it, you can throw it. I was gonna do a whole thing on just that, but we have two other knives that he sent me, and uh, a Luger. I don't know how he was able to ship a firearm. Oh, look, super loud. Super loud. Mm. <laughs> Pull hammer back until it locks. You got to put a cap on it. Warning. Use one cap at a time. Don't fire near your eye or closer than two feet from your ear. What about in your nose? Can you stick it in your nose? Do not point it at people or other living creatures. Uh-oh. Nigel, y'all are not technically living. Do not carry caps loose in your pocket. Use only under adult supervision. Do not use indoors. All right. Okie dokie. <coughs> so we got those two things over there. We have another scale. This is cool. Comes with little instructions. But it's another... Um, <laughs> push this open. It's a 200 gram. 0 0.01 capacity. But a big surface area on it. So that's pretty cool. Let me turn this on. <laughs> open up you turkey. Turn it on. Comes on a lot faster than the other one. I'll tell you that right now. Modage. Grams. Ounces. Ounces teared, I guess. D weight. Whatever D weight is. Count. Grains. I'm pushing on this. It's not a level surface. I'm mashing on it. Alright. So we got that. Cool. Thank you. Now we get down into the knives here. Now I was looking at this. This is a, a Hulseford. It looks a lot like a Mora knife. It's carbon steel. Um, but I was looking at this 
this connection here. Uh, if you take, if you take the knife here and you wedgie this over, because these things don't just like snap out. You've got to wedge them. I don't know if this is the approved method of doing it. Ah. <laughs> He's gonna cut himself. No, we can't do that. Not on camera. Anyway, I don't know if you just pull this back, but you can you can undo these. I've done it before. I've wedged this over. Get it over there. Get over there. There's one. Bam. All right. Once you've got that out. Well, this can be connected to like a button, but if you look for a regular belt, now I connected it to the end of my, uh, my, just the excess of my, uh, Paracord BDU belt, and this little tab here, sir, it'll work, it clicks in there, but this, that tab keeps it from sliding back and forth, so it'll lock into whatever place you want to use it, so that's kind of different, you know, that set up. They kind of force you to use that too. You know. Anyway, there's that. And there's a little thumb rest for here. And a little drain hole in the bottom. And this is the model number. Heavy duty knife. Model GK. So this is pretty cool. I like the color. It feels very good in the hand. Like a Mora knife. And uh, it looks like it's already anodized. It's kind of hard to read down there, but that that says carbon steel. Oh, if we can get it to where it'll read properly. It's like the stamp was. I was looking at it. Is this a foreign language? But right there, there it is. Can you see it now? It's kind of the C isn't stamped real hard. Our bone. There's the C. Carbon steel. Holt. Holt of force. Holt. I can't say it right. Alright, unzoom. Alright, and the last knife is this great. Mazarine. Olive wood. I could tell it was olive wood. Man, I love olive wood. Just a such a great looking pattern to it. The color. But this is a little lock back. Wow. Got a spear point on it. And a nice jimping up here too. Uh -uh. Oh. <laughs> Cardboard. I can't I can't resist. First, we'll cut out a little piece. We'll try a little slash down. Oh, yeah. Then we'll double up a little piece. Anytime we get a, a pointy like this, we're just going to have to test it out against a possible hobo armor. All right, don't lose a finger. Get the jimping ready. Uh, oh, man, that's good. That's pretty good. And I wasn't jabbing with full force, you know, because I didn't want to go through there and take out Nigel in the background. He's he's back here. I don't want to take him out. But yeah, this is a really pointy, uh, stabby type of... Let's see what it says on the blade here. It says focus, you. Focus. Stainless steel 440. Italy. Yeah, isn't that a nice blade shape? Spear point. Very, very pointy. <clears throat> kind of like a saber grind here. I don't, this, I don't think this is completely hollow. Yeah, very nice. See that wood grain, though? Isn't that... I like things that's got, like, color and wood grain to it and stuff like that. So here it looks like you're right in a forest. All right, back up you. Right, yeah, so this is a cool knife also. Um, 
Let's get the length on him. The length of the blade here, just for the curious. All right, two and five eighths cutting edge, or three inches overall on the blade. It's got a lock back on it, so certain places that would be ill legitimate. How many centimoids? 65 millimoids, I mean millimeters, <clears throat> for your cutting edge, or 75 millimeters overall. Yeah. Nice. It's got a strong lock back on it, but not real strong. And uh, a good spring to it, but I'd say about like a four. Pretty easy, you know. No half stop, but you really don't need one on a lock back. And then good solid lock up, man. No wiggle, no jiggle. And we've already seen what it does on hobo armor, so they're going to have to bring more than two layers of hobo armor with them. They don't want to start bleeding. So, <laughs> thank you. Let's, let's look at the... We got time. Let's let's look at what we got to do to this poor little guy. All right, let's cut him out with this guy here. <laughs> cut him out of this area here. Make sure to get the <clears throat> enema device here. We're gonna need the enema device. <laughs> look, <laughs> Daddy, why do I gotta shove this up his butt? Shut up. Shut up, Johnny. <laughs> you want to play with your toy? <laughs> the tiger keeps wanting me to inflate him. <laughs> he keeps wanting it. He keeps asking for it. <laughs> Should I use anything? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm not used to this, man. It takes a lot of pressure. He's fighting it. Hey, how far you gotta go? Uh -huh. oh, man, it's not working for me. <laughs> man, they should have given you some a lube with this, like some KY or something, man. So there you go, you little tiger. <laughs> I gotta save this packaging. This is hilarious. <clears throat> so yeah, I hope you cut some laughs out of this. I sure did. Alright, let's break out the gun too while we're at it. Tiger's gonna want to kill himself after this. Oh, that's pretty solid. This is this is pretty solid feeling here. You can buy these little caps that don't have any caps in it right now. Oh, well, there's one. Maybe this is one on the end. No, this is to warn people that this is not a real weapon. So that you won't get shot by the police. Oh, man. This is a hard spring on this one here. You talk about needing an adjustment. Yeah, you're going to have to two-finger this one. Mmm, man, yeah, torture your kids, good that. <laughs> Pow, it probably does make a noise when you do that, but there's no barrel connected to it as like an opening or anything, I don't think. <clears throat> but a Luger, it's got like a Luger shape to it. No trigger guard, because you need to get your trigger in there, but man, it's torture. <clears throat> so... If your kids grow up strange and you wonder why, well, look at the toys you're giving them. <laughs> a tiger that you got to shove a surgical needle up his ass to <laughs> inflate him. And then, man, I don't know, maybe I didn't shove it far enough in. <laughs> it just seemed too weird. Yeah, you're not going to get much inflation from me. Sorry. Well, they could have done worse, you know. Instead of giving it like this, they could have had a pre-existing valve already hanging down that the kids had to blow on. So, 
yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. I need a drink after this. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Tiger needs a smoke. <laughs> He'd like a cigarette. Inflate me! Inflate me! No, shut up. Go away. Ah, oh, please. Come on. Inflate me. Come on, please. I want to be inflated.